Good evening, guys, girls, whatever pronoun you feel comfortable with. Someone was asking me how to set up a fuel level gauge. So I'm going to go over the entire thing right now. All right, the one we're going to make in here is going to look like one of these autometer guys, but the same applies if you want it to. Not that bullshit. If you want to have a digital readout, like my bald eagle freedom, freedom background. So right here in the instruction manual, right, it says resistance based fuel level sending units should use IO7 pin 21. All right, so now you're gonna flip to page, we were on page 13, Flip to page eight. Probably step fucking one is pull out, go retrieve your damn manual from the trash bin he threw it in. Oh my man, who need instructions? Fuck that. Stop being an idiot. Everything is in here. All right, so input seven. We can see it right here. Input seven. Pin twenty one. Third row down. Fourth from the left. All right, so now we're back in the car. <clears throat> I made a video previously about how to wire all this up. I go over adding inputs into the dang harness. Just go to the channel. You'll see how to do that. For this gauge, all we're doing is going to input seven. You don't have to mess with the sensor ground, any of that. Just input seven. That's it. So we've added that wire. We're going to go back to the menu. First thing we have to do is configure. Come on. We have to set up that input. So go to customize, not customize. Go to the menu, click on configuration. Go to dash configuration. Go ahead and make a fart. Local I.O. tab. Scroll down to input 7. If you've got something else in here, some bullshit, clear it out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Type in fuel level. Fuel level. All right, hit OK. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to go to the next drop down, go where it says Disabled, Custom Ohms. Little gear thing pops up. All right, first one, under the Ohms column, we're going to set the resistance value at zero, which it already is. The value will also be zero. Scroll down. The very bottom, the resistance that we're going to add is going to be 90. Because we're gonna we're programming this for a regular GM 0 to 90 ohm gauge. We're gonna set the value at 90 ohms as 100. Alright now. Things got a little bit weird on our scale here. So we're going to hit linearize X. And if you see over on the left, our values for our resistance, same as along here, are now evenly spaced between 0 to 90. Go ahead and hit linearize Y. All right, our value is now in a nice scale, and we have a nice linear graph going from 0 empty to 100 full go ahead hit, hit, hit save all right if you've got a fourth gen because you're gender fluid the same applies for the 270 full to 33 whatever empty just put in 33 here put in 270 down here all right and in the middle it'll say your car is a ford probe 
All right, once we're all done in here, go ahead and hit OK and save. And then, next thing we're going to go into customize. Customize. Go ahead and hit add gauge. Scroll all the way down until you get to your inputs. Fuel level. All right, we want analog. We want it to look like one of these auto meter guys. We're going to move it a little bit. Just click on move. All right, next, go to customize. We're all the way at the top. If we want to call it something else, this is here where we do it. All right, range 0 to 100. That's what we want. Warnings. We're going to click enable low warnings. All right, if we don't want to see anything in the high side, we just won't click enable high warnings. Low. We, we're going to set this one at 10%. 10% and we're going to set this one at 20%. All right, go ahead and hit OK. Now you see over here we got our red and, and yellow. All right, scroll down a little bit more. We're going to set our Where the hell is it? We're going to have our segments. We're going to change that from 6 to 4. Hit OK. All right now we've got one line at quarter, half, three quarter, and full. And we got little guys in between there. All right, we're all done in here. So go ahead and hit OK. And then save. Everything updates. There we go. We got a regular analog gauge just like you'd get from just like you get from Autometer. And then our digital guy works out too now. Alright, so just to quickly review. Input seven. Add in that wire onto the back of the connector. Go to my other videos. You'll see how that's done. Just run that one wire right to the factory fuel level wire in the fuel level sensor. Don't have to mess with the grounds. None of that. Just that one wire. That's all there is to it. All right. No other questions. Go ahead. Grab your frosty drink. And have a good night. Don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe, smash notification bells, all that other shit. Alright. Good night.